love friend, it's Amy Tangerine and I'm so excited to share three things that I'm looking forward to and a simple framework that I came up with while I was figuring out how to format this video. Before we begin, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude for all the love and support you've shown me, whether this is your first video or your 50th, your kind words truly warm my heart. Thank you for being here and for being a part of this amazing community. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that like button. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments below. In this video, we will go on a little journey to help you unlock your joy and take a look into the three things that are making me incredibly happy right now. And best of all, it will add a little light to your life too. Now let's talk about happiness and joy. What do these words mean to you? How do you hold happiness and joy? How do you share your happiness and joy? One thing I know is that we are all capable of feeling these positive emotions deep within ourselves. And as we feel them more fully, we can then radiate that happiness and joy out to others. Typically spring marks a very happy and hopeful season in my life as it's one of my favorites. I enjoy the longer days, I love the sunshine, yet somehow this time around it felt a bit more challenged than I have before or I felt more challenged. There's a number of factors that have affected this kind of gray feeling or heaviness that I'm not accustomed to. And when I really think about it, most of those things are out of my control. They're outside of me swirling around. So there's really not that much I can do about it. I know there's no use in complaining about the weather. So I'm simply stating facts here, not complaining. The weather in Southern California has been unusual to say the least. And there's just some life stuff that's been swirling around for some time. Most of which, as I said before, is out of my control. If you, like me, find solace in reciting prayers on a regular basis, one that holds a special place in my heart is the serenity prayer, which I try to say most mornings. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. <sighs> I always find myself sighing or taking a big deep breath afterwards for some reason. Another quote that I try to remind myself of is from Tony Robbins, where focus goes, energy flows. So what are you focusing on? Are you focused on the huge hole that still exists in your studio that caved in after the tons of rain that poured in LA? You're probably not focused on that since it's my studio. I was trying to just make up a metaphor. Or are you focusing on the gratitude of minimal damage, everyone being safe and seeking other solutions that may be the path to even more possibilities than you ever imagined? I'm not saying that you always have to immediately turn things around to point to the positive, but I believe that we have agency and choice over the direction of our days and direction of our lives. And I didn't realize that my button came unbuttoned for that entire section. Whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just going to stand in yet another spot in my house so that doesn't happen again. A friend recently shared this statement that her kid's principal says over the loudspeaker every morning, and I wish I had heard the same thing every day when I was in elementary school. He closes his morning announcements with this simple message. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. I love that. And isn't her handwriting adorable? Anyway, back to what I'm trying to get at is that we ultimately have choices to make. No matter what season of life you find yourself in, if you're struggling, if you're thriving, smooth sailing or somewhere between all of that, as a happiness seeker all my life, I really do try and remain optimistic when things are challenging. But let's face it, sometimes life just sucks. Life can throw curveballs at us. We experience moments of doubt, uncertainty, even despair but it's during those times that we are being called to pause, reflect, and remember what truly brings us joy. 
Upon reflection and some deep diving lately, I've discovered three things that consistently bring me immense joy. They've become pillars in my life, guiding me through both the ups and downs, and I'm going to share these three key sources of happiness with you because they've been instrumental in shaping my perspective, fueling my creativity, and inspiring me to continually craft a life I love. Hopefully they will resonate with you too. Of course, I made it into an acronym or backronym, partly because I love them and because I want to easily remember it. Hopefully it can resonate and stick with you too. So the word is joy. Surprise, surprise. J is for journey of self-discovery. Your path to discovering the deeper parts of yourself is unique. Exploring your passions, values, and personal growth can bring immense joy. By embarking on a journey of self-discovery, you gain a deeper understanding of yourself, your desires, what truly makes you happy. What are you doing to help unlock this journey of self-discovery? One of the ways I love to do this is by keeping a memory planner. You may have seen these in past videos. I've been doing this type of documenting for over a decade, and it's one of my favorite ways to savor the little moments while also using my stash of fun and colorful supplies. Are you ready to unlock the secret formula for consistent and creative planning? Well, you're in luck. Join me from June 12th to 15th for Planner Craft Pro Summit, hosted by Mim Jenkinson from Paper Planner Club. 30 industry experts will come together to share their invaluable insights on making planning truly fun and enjoyable. My mini workshop is all about how to get creative with memory keeping. Best of all, it's free. It's going to be so much fun. Be sure to sign up at the link below and also in the description box. The 30 presentations are totally free for you for the first 24 hours, as long as you're registered. You can also get your hands on the VIP planner pass for a reduced price right now. I've seen that some of you may have already signed up for this, so thank you. With the VIP planner pass, you'll get lifetime access so you can go back and learn at your own pace and get in on tons of amazing bonuses from myself and other speakers. Hope you will join in on the fun. Oh, opening your heart. This could be to others, this could be to yourself. Offering yourself some compassion is key to happiness. Building meaningful connections and fostering relationships with loved ones and your community brings so much joy. Maybe you connect by watching videos like this that uplift and inspire you to be your best creative self. Research shows that strong social connections contribute to overall happiness and well-being. Opening your heart to others and nurturing these relationships can create a sense of belonging and fulfillment. One of the ways I realize that I open my heart is by putting love into the things I do for work, designs, partnerships, collaborations, all those sorts of things. Also, one of my deep limiting beliefs is that my worth is dependent upon my productivity. That's a whole other video, but the takeaway of this is that there are so many ways I show up for work, and sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. But in processing and working through that, I realize that I'm actually being of service to others when I put a piece of my heart into my work and my designs and even these videos and when I collaborate with others. Next week, I am launching something really fun with Altenew. You may have seen some sneak peeks already. I'll be doing a video blog hop and something on Instagram and we will have a special live session here on YouTube on Monday, June 12th at 1230 Pacific, 3.30 Eastern. If you want to turn on notifications here on YouTube, then please do. It will be so fun. We are going to try and stream it live on this channel as well as Alta News channel. We haven't tested it yet, but hopefully it'll work. If you're not signed up for my newsletter, you may also want to do that. I have linked a fun freebie, Guide to Lifting Your Creative Spirits, that you can download and print if you'd like. Why? 
Y stands for yes to gratitude and mindfulness. While I don't keep a separate gratitude journal or even gratitude log like I used to in my bullet journals, I have found that when I regularly practice and express gratitude, my life is just better. I experience happiness on higher levels. I seem to attract more synchronicity and positivity. I even get invited to more fun opportunities that I want to say yes to. So what are you saying yes to? What lights you up and brings you tremendous joy? Are you mindful of being present and grateful for everything you have? Being present in the moment and appreciating the little things can shift your perspective and bring a sense of ease, joy, and contentment. I am saying yes to gratitude and grace as I am trying to get back into a sunnier season of my life and sharing more of that with you. I said yes recently to treating myself to getting my eyebrows done once again because I was due for a touch up back in 2021 but was nursing at the time. I had to wait until I stopped nursing because I didn't want to pump and dump. And I'm happy to report that we both survived the transition finally at the end of February. Yes, she nursed for two years and three months, but who's counting? Judy from Effortless PMU did my mom's ombre brows and is so talented and does the most amazing work, not to mention she is a total radiant light who explains exactly what she's about to do to you, makes it somehow not hurt, and is such a caring, confident, and beautiful person. She's located in Alhambra, California, so it was a bit of a drive for me, but 100% worth it as I no longer have to draw in my non-existent and crooked brows. It's not microblading, but she does offer that. I got ombre, and I love it. It's a treat, but in combination with my lashes, I feel better and brighter and barely have to wear much makeup. I have linked her info below. Tell her I said hello if you happen to reach out to her. Remember, creativity is a personal journey and it's unique to you. Find what works best, what brings you joy, and adapt these suggestions to suit your own creative process. The key is to nurture your creative spirit with a sense of curiosity, playfulness, and connection. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you feel inspired to infuse a bit more joy into your life. Leave any questions or comments below. I love hearing from you.